Because of the immense support on the Infinity Gauntlet giveaway, I have decided to give away one more Infinity Gauntlet. To enter, all you have to do is like, subscribe, and tell me in the comments what your favorite Marvel movie is. The more times you comment on different videos, the more likely you are to win. Good luck to the second giveaway, and let's begin with the video. In Avengers Infinity War, to the utter shock of Thanos, as well as the entire audience, Thor with Stormbreaker was able to overcome the Infinity Gauntlet. Not only the Gauntlet, but the Gauntlet which contained all six of the Infinity Stones, making Thanos the most powerful being in the universe. But why was this? Why was the Infinity Gauntlet overpowered by Stormbreaker, and how is this possible? If all six stones are as powerful as we have all been led to believe, how was Stormbreaker able to seemingly defeat it? The answer may surprise you. In truth, knowingly, Thanos did not use the full power of all six of the Infinity Stones to stop Stormbreaker. Instead, Thanos knew that he was only able to use a fraction of the stone's power. It is clear that the Infinity Stones placed together are omnipotent, but the Infinity Gauntlet itself is not. Of course, this was proven following the snap, as we saw the Infinity Gauntlet was extremely badly damaged, as well as Thanos himself being damaged. Thanos was full aware that if he used the full power of the Infinity Stones to stop Stormbreaker, he would destroy the Gauntlet. Thanos was not willing to do this, as his mission was not yet complete, and half the universe was yet to be wiped out. As we've seen time and time again in the MCU, the Infinity Stones require something to hold them at bay. In the case of Thanos, this thing is the Infinity Infinity Gauntlet, but as we've seen before, it's been the Cube and the Space Stone, the Orb and the Power Stone, the Ether and the Reality Stone, and far more. The stones are held at bay by something that is not omnipotent, although the stones themselves together are. So now that we've answered this question and revealed that Thanos did not unleash the full power of the Infinity Stones on Stormbreaker, let's explore Stormbreaker itself. Stormbreaker is the most powerful weapon ever forged by the Dwarves, and unlike Mjolnir, is a king's weapon. Stormbreaker was a weapon forged to be used by the King of Asgard, and Mjolnir was something that was simply forged to help Thor control his inherent powers. Stormbreaker is able to manipulate and absorb energy unlike anything we have ever seen before, and and then use it again. This is in fact why it is able to even summon the Bifrost by using it. As Stormbreaker was thrown at Thanos, it was able to absorb the cosmic energies that the stones were releasing, at least for a moment. Again though, this was not the full power of the Infinity Stones, just a simple fraction of them. Still though, Stormbreaker was able to absorb what was being thrown at it at the time. Another extremely simple explanation, but something I do want to touch on is that Thor caught Thanos utterly off guard. Thanos had achieved his goal and was only just experiencing the full power of all six Infinity Stones, and thus when Thor entered, Thanos was completely unaware of his presence. Something else that's extremely important to note is throughout all of Infinity War, Thanos is holding back with the Infinity Stones. He does so because he does not want to deplete the power of the stones enough so that he cannot complete the snap. Again, Thanos only uses the stones on a minuscule level until he has all of the stones within his possession. He only goes a little bit crazy on Titan when he's nearly defeated by all of the Avengers. Before this though, Thanos' displays with the stones are extremely minuscule. Again, as I've said several times, this is the same case with Stormbreaker. Thanos is only using a fraction. Again, he does so because he wants to ensure that he is still able to complete the snap by the end of the film. But there is also one final explanation that I would like to touch on, although admittedly, this part is simply just a theory. As we know, Stormbreaker is able to summon the Bifrost extremely easily. The theory poses that as Thor threw Stormbreaker, he was actually using the Bifrost to teleport the energy of the Infinity Gauntlet away from the battle. Instead of taking the full force of the Gauntlet, Stormbreaker was simply teleporting the energy away. Again though, this is just a theory and has been far from confirmed. Anyway, that is simply my explanations as to why Stormbreaker was able to overcome the Infinity Gauntlet at the end of Infinity War. But I would love to hear what you guys think, and do these theories make sense, or do you have some of your own? Or do you simply believe that Stormbreaker is more powerful than the Infinity Gauntlet is? Again, don't forget to enter the giveaway to win a gauntlet of your own, subscribe to join the team, and have a great day.